Hey, cha cha people, how you doing? Charles here. Friday night, and I've got a problem. This video is going to take more than one minute, so I'm going to have to break it into minutes to post it on Instagram. Uh, I'll post the whole thing on Facebook. This is what happened to me today. So if you have a PayPal, be careful. Check your PayPal today. Be careful. And your Gmail account mainly because it came from Gmail. Listen to this. Okay, last night, late last night, right around, uh, when was it? Maybe 11.30 at night. I get an email. I'm just scrolling through my phone, laying in bed, and I got an email, and it says, my, a G, my Gmail account, it said PayPal, message from PayPal, and I opened it, and it said, you have requested to change your password. Um, if you did not request to change your password, call this number. So I was like, what? My PayPal, I haven't used PayPal forever. Called the number, get on there. Oh my God, if you ever try to call PayPal, good luck. Uh, it says all of our operators are busy, do use the automated sir. I thought, what? You know, this is a scam. I hung up, went to bed, okay? Wake up in the morning, early in the morning, I thought of that and I thought, huh, let me go into my Gmail so I can read that message again. Go into my Gmail account, that email from PayPal's gone, okay? And I thought, what, that's really weird. Where did it go? So then I tried to go into PayPal, my password's changed, okay? Uh, which I thought was weird. And then every year I come to Nantucket, I get a new phone number, okay? So my phone number that's affiliated with my PayPal, if you go to PayPal and say forgot password, they wanna send you a text message to the phone on file. I didn't upgrade it, so it's my old number, so I cannot get that text message. So I thought, what? Try to call them again, you can't get anybody at PayPal. So then I thought, man, what's going on here? So I go to my online banking, okay? I use a bank called Cape Cod 5. Phenomenal local bank. Local banking is a way to go, okay? Cape Cod 5 is only here in Massachusetts. Uh, I go to my online app and I see I'm missing $2,000 for my account in two transactions. There's a transaction for $1,400. And there's a transaction for $600. Can you see that? All on the 25th, late at night. And I thought, what, $2,000 missing here? So I immediately get my bank card, call the number on the back of the bank, uh, on the back of the bank card. And I say, hey, thank God it's local. Somebody answers, they're local people, you know? even though it was early in the mornings before eight o'clock. And I said, hey, I've got a big problem. Here's my name. They ask a million questions, make sure you're who you are. And I said, I'm missing $2,000 for my account. It went through PayPal. I said, please shut my account. What do I need to do here? Uh, and it's still in the pending on my bank. It's a pending transactions. It's still in there, this 2000. So I said, man, I'm freaking out. I said, any minute there might be a 5,000, a 10,000, whatever. I've got quite a lot of money in there, uh, in that account. And, uh, the lady said, don't worry. She said, we're gonna stop every transaction right now. Uh, she said, we're gonna have to close this account. She said, have you tried to call PayPal? I said, yes, I tried to call PayPal. I said, I haven't used PayPal forever. I said, I can't log in. I said, I can't get somebody on the phone. I said, I can't change my password because I don't have that old phone. I said, everything just looks scammy for my part. When I call PayPal, hey, what's your number? Oh, I don't know, I don't have it. It makes me look bad, okay? So I thought that was weird and then Long story short, I, uh, while I'm talking to her, I went into my Gmail, and this is here, okay? When I go into my Google account, it says, six compromised passwords. I have this warning. One of them was PayPal, but I can't go in and change PayPal. I can't contact PayPal or anything here. Uh, so anyway, the lady said, don't worry, I think we can get your 2000 back. She said, we're gonna have to close your account, open a whole new account, uh, and this is Friday, mind you. I'm leaving Monday to stay in Cape Cod and then I'm going to, to Mexico for seven days and then to Serbia. Uh, so she said, and of course, because of COVID, you can't just go to the bank. You have to schedule an appointment. So I scheduled an appointment at 1130. They had everything ready for me. They knew my name. She had me sign my new paperwork for my new bank account. So nobody can use 
take any more money out of an old account. They moved all my money over to the new one. They kept this old one open only for debits, for money coming in, because I got some money coming in. Uh, but I had to sign some forms stating that I didn't authorize that 2000 and she said, I think we can get your money back. That's why it's so important to bank locally, my friends. And so everybody that has a Gmail, go in and change your passwords, man. My password's really long. And the funny part, before I knew all this happened this morning, I, po I, mean, I posted something about uh, passwords, uh, how easy they are to, to break on my Facebook page. You know, how weird is all of this, you know? So anyway, change your Gmail password. Don't keep all of your uh, passwords saved on, on Google. I do that because I'm lazy. But man, I went in and, and changed everything. So anyway, change your passwords. Delete PayPal. I'm done with PayPal. PayPal is so bad, you know? I send money to people in Serbia through PayPal. Uh, I send money through MoneyGram. I have those things say, I'm done. No more of that, you know? Oh my God, can you imagine it's happened when I'm in Mexico? I go to use my card, all my money's gone, you know? Ah, oh, crazy. Anyway, that's how my second to last day here in Nantucket went here. Time to drink. Jimmy Sweet Money.